Hey y'all, welcome back to another video on Turbo's Garage. We are jumping in to starting the square body tonight is the plan. Finishing up some wiring, figuring out distributor wiring, uh, trace it back, turns out somehow, don't know how, it could have been a fire, it could have been several things, but the distributor wire uh, got a little burnt and was no longer sending signal. So here I thought, you know, the wire was fine and I was trying to trace everything else, well, it's the wire idiot i pulled it in here and pulled the engine out i have not touched the battery and it says 12.2 volts that is amazing anyways so if we come over here it's getting good uh as you can see test light right here and right here is power to the distributor so now if we turn the key on Make sure this doesn't touch anything. So, right here. Come on. There, right there. 11.9 volts. I think we're good. It's been almost two years. It's definitely a labor of love. Definitely have way too much money in this. So now since it's a brand new transmission in that, there's two quarts in the torque converter, but there's none in the transmission itself. So I'm going to put like seven or eight quarts in the transmission. Um, just so when it starts, it's, if it starts, it's not like just cranking over and there's like running with no transmission fluid in it because that would not be good. <sighs> Distributor cap is on. Power is hooked up. Spark plug wires are on there. Transmission fluid's in. I'm nervous. Moment of truth. an interesting sound. Huh. All right, well, I did a little digging in it, figured out what's wrong. With cylinder one at TDC, top dead center, on the compression stroke, we're 180 off. That would um, explain some stuff. I don't know why it didn't make even any fire sound like it was even trying. But I guess we'll uh, put it all back together this way, get that fixed up there on the distributor, and... Uh, Try it again, I guess. It's about all we can do, really. So. All right, time for round two. Trying. I tried. My thought is if that gas in it is too bad.
Okay, round three. Third time's the charm, right? Yep. That's it. I'm done for tonight. You're weird. All right, so we are, uh, I have a spark plug from the old, uh, well, I said the old engine, same engine, but last year. So I have to pull cylinder one spark plug wire off. I'll put this in it. I'll put it close to the drive shaft for the steering shaft there. Crank it, and I guess we'll just see if there's spark. Okay, so I just looked at something on what like a uh, other distributor I had. And if you look at these wires, it's a brown, black, red. I feel so stupid. If this is what it is, then I'm so stupid. If you look back there, it is now brown, black, red. Before, it was backwards. So it might legitimately actually start. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I kind of made an oil mess down there with uh, uh, cranking it without having the oil pressure line hooked up. So that was big stupid. On the bright side, you can see here if we crank it. Just cranking it, oops, we make about 50 pounds of oil pressure. Well, I changed the coil. It's my last option. I don't, other than that, I don't know. So, we're gonna try it, see what happens. Spray a little giggle juice in there.
still up through here. And it's leaking something. But it freaking runs! Freaking does. <laughs> All right, so I'm just so excited. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even care that it's leaking oil. I'll fix that. But so I don't know why, but it appears to be coming out the back of the intake. Which I don't understand because I, I silicone that. But that's definitely where it's looking like it's coming from. So. I guess I'm taking the intake back off, and uh, the only other thing is it looks like it might be coming out of the intake or uh, valve cover gaskets, but I don't think so. Oh, either way, I'm so excited that this thing actually runs. Oh, that fires me up so much. Anyways, I guess I probably won't show doing the whole intake gasket thing because that's boring. Well, it's been a long day. <laughs> Just got home. Stay tuned for the next video. I don't want to jinx it. I'm afraid I'm going to jinx it. But that engine runs really, really, really good. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch up with y'all later. And uh, have a good one.